I could count on one hand how many times I've actually ice skated in my life pre this experience. Hi, my name's Amber Davis and this is my five fabulous minutes with Fabulous Magazine. Actress and TV personality Amber Davies sat down with Fabulous to discuss her busy career, moments she felt starstruck, and what it was like working side by side with her boyfriend. The former Love Island star has had many successes. From winning the show to now performing in the West End, in performances such as Back to the Future and Pretty Woman, she really has reached the stars. One star including icon Dolly Parton. My biggest career highlight to date would be interviewing Dolly Parton in Nashville back in 2018. I peaked in that moment. Oh, Dolly Parton was so gorgeous. Honestly, the most humble person. The fact she even knew my name is... I was definitely starstruck meeting her, yes. <laughs> if I was to change one thing about my career, I don't regret a single thing. I literally don't. I, I think everything I, I've done in my career has got me to where I am today, so nothing, I wouldn't change a single thing. While Amber has enjoyed a successful career so far, she candidly reflects on a time when she had a job that didn't quite align with her strengths. I have had a job where I was absolutely terrible to work alongside. I actually worked at a frozen yogurt store when I was 17 and I was actually training in musical theatre at the time and it was like my Saturday job and I was awful. The ex Love Island star has transformed from a reality icon to a leading lady ditching awkward chats around the fire pit for show-stopping performances on stage. My biggest dream when I was little was to be on the West End stage and I just can't believe that I'm fulfilling that dream. I'm literally so grateful, I feel so at home on stage. Touch wood, I haven't actually fallen on stage yet, but I have had moments where I think, oh my gosh, I don't know what my line is, uh, and I just make it up on the spot and then we're all there laughing on stage because we all know there's something gone wrong. Whilst portraying the role of Lorraine and her co-star playing her son, Marty, it wasn't long after when she started to like him, both on and off stage. I met my boyfriend on Back to the Future. We worked together for a year. Initially, we were just best, best friends because we were both from Wales, so we had something in common. And then that just blossomed into a gorgeous relationship. So Ben, plays Marty McFly and I played Lorraine Baines which is actually his mum. His mother, yeah, so I was actually his mother. If I could travel to any era it would be late 80s, early 90s because that is just my childhood and it's just so nostalgic to me. Being in the spotlight can be daunting but for someone who has fought her way to the top of Love Island we aren't surprised she has a few tricks up her sleeve on staying calm and confident. Top tips, I would say there's three things. The first one would be breathe, always breathe. The second one would be find comfort in the castmate on the stage with you. So look into their eyes, find comfort in them. And the third one would be, I, I do this really weird thing where I imagine myself like in a protection bubble and I, I'm just in it myself, it's the weirdest thing, but like make a little protection bubble for yourself, imaginary protection bubble. So Kim Kardashian actually came to watch Back to the Future and I met her during the interval and that is probably my favourite interval to date and it's going to be a very hard one to beat. I was so nervous meeting Kim because I've loved her for so long. But even though I didn't have any expectations, she exceeded them all. She was absolutely stunningly beautiful and she was just in mum mode the whole time. She was just normal. Hanging up her Vivian wig for the moment, Amber is swapping the stage lights for ice rinks, choosing to lace up her skates and take on a thrilling new challenge, dancing on ice. My opinion has changed a lot about dancing on ice as a whole. I thought it was going to be a breeze, you know, I'm go I was going to have so much fun. And although I'm having fun, it is so hard. It is so complex, uh, but it's a really, really big challenge for me. And do you know what? I don't know how far I'm going to get. I'm just going to take week by week and put 110% of my effort into it. I could count on one hand how many times I've actually ice skated in my life pre this experience. 
uh, because I wanted to dance. I wanted to be a professional dancer. So my mum and my dad always used to say, you're not going ice skating or skiing because it's too dangerous. And beyond the ice, there's more than just slick moves up her sleeves. So 2024 is going to be dancing on ice, full 100% effort there. I will be going back into Pretty Woman the Musical, which is touring until September. And I actually have my own podcast coming out about musical theatre. So watch this space. <laughs>